Well, hi, friends. Good to be with you. Today is Tuesday, July 12th. Glad to be with you and uh, hope you're doing well. We're in the office again for a quick Devo, hoping to get out for the rest of the week and uh, hope to be with you on the road. Today, we're going to go back to the basics. We're going to go to a basic concept of Jesus. And the title that Luke uses in the Gospel of Luke when he announces the birth of the Christ, the Messiah. So if you have your Bibles, you can join me. We're at Luke chapter 2. I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 12. This is the account of the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to rest, register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. I think it's appropriate today in the middle of July to talk about the birth of Jesus. Six months between now and December, which is going to be Christmas or thereabouts. And so a, a refresher halfway through the year isn't so bad, I don't think. Did you catch the title of Jesus that was in verse 11? Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. There are actually three titles of Jesus there, Messiah and Lord and Savior. We're going to focus on the title of Jesus, Savior. What does that mean? You know, the angel had just told Joseph that uh, the shepherds, actually, had just told the shepherds that good news had come. He encouraged them not to be afraid, which is a general greeting for those who encounter a heavenly host. And of course, that's true because uh, they look different, oftentimes sound different, might bring some fear. But the angel then says to the shepherds, I bring you good news. Good news. Good news is summed up in the word gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the good news of Jesus. And this good news, which the angel brings now to the shepherd, will cause, says the angel, great joy for all the people. But we have to pause there for a minute because we know the rest of the story. And the question is, was this good news that brought great joy for all the people. The Savior which was born, that born, this Messiah, this Lord, or better said with the definite article, the Lord, would cause great strife within Israel. It would cause their religious leaders to be challenged, their presuppositions and theology to be turned upside down. And in the end, this Jesus, this Savior, this Messiah, 
this Lord would be tried, crucified, died. He would be raised from the dead and then ascend into heaven. I'm not sure, as Luke sets us up, that the people of Israel in the first century saw that the birth of Jesus, namely this Messiah and Lord, was good news at all. And I'm not sure how much joy for all the people Jesus really brought. And think of your own life. You know, Bill Bright, the founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, wrote a little pamphlet to encourage and help people evangelize, spread this good news. And one of the tenets, one of the uh, four spiritual laws, as he wrote, is that God has a great plan for your life. But we might ask the question, does he really? <laughs> How about Mother Teresa? Was that a great plan for her? You know, I've read her biography. I've read several books that um, record her writings. And in fact, uh, for many years, she was not uh, canonized or received as a saint because she struggled with de depression. How about you in your life? Don't we have suffering and sorrow? Especially these days, we certainly do. So we might ask the question, is this Savior, this Messiah, this Lord or the Lord, really good news? And are we joyous about him? <laughs> Here's the bottom line and where we'll end for the day. By Savior, the angel is announcing that the one who is sinful will be saved from their sins. See, in order to be saved, or a uh, synonym with uh, salvation is uh, deliverance, in order to be delivered or saved from sin, or saved from something, we, we have to be uh, caught up in it. And we are caught up in sin. Romans chapter 6 reminds us uh, that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. And so we have to have a, a broader, a deeper, a uh, more spiritual understanding, a big picture understanding of eternity and what life truly is to understand Jesus as Savior. Jesus has not come to save us from this world. <laughs> Jesus has not come to save us from suffering and sorrow and pain. Jesus has come to save us from our sins. And in that way, that is great news. <laughs> this is certainly gospel. And we do find joy in our Savior. Let's pray. God, thank you for our time together this Tuesday. We ask that you would bless and anoint it. Help us to go to the, the deep places of our spiritual lives and our lives of, of formation and discipleship. You are our Savior. Help us to keep in mind it's from our sins you have saved. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. God bless you, friends. Would Again, as I always do, encourage you to spend some time with the Lord in this text and muddling through this life of faith, this great gift and life of faith. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.